Hi friends, I am Ankit Mahajan and today we are going to learn about simple interest and its applications. So let's start with simple interest. Let's first understand some basic definitions. Principal The money borrowed from a lender is known as principal or sum. Basically it is called udhar, interest. The additional money paid by the borrower to the lender for having used his money is called interest. Next comes amount, the final money, the total money which the borrower pays back to the lender at the end of a specified period is called amount. It follows from the above definitions that amount will always be equal to principal plus interest. Now, amount we write as capital A, principal we write as capital P and interest as capital I. So basically we can write this formula like A is equal to P plus I. Simple interest or SI. The interest calculated uniformly on the original principal throughout the loan period is called simple interest. That is, if P is my principal, R is my interest rate per cent per annum, then interest on rupees 100 for one year will be rupees R. Now, if I have to calculate by unitary method, interest on rupee 1 for one year comes out to be what? R upon 100. This is interest for one year. Now if I have to calculate interest for t years, then interest on rupee 1 for t years will be, you multiply it by t, so it becomes r into t upon 100. This was my interest on rupee 1. Now I have my principal p. So interest on rupees P that was my principal for T years the time period for which I borrowed the amount is equal to P into R into T upon 100. This is my formula for simple interest where P is my principal borrowed R is the rate of interest per annum and T is time period. Now, let's see some examples and try to understand the topic more clearly. Sum of rupees 800 is lent for one year at the rate of 18% per annum. Find the interest. Now, let's check out the solution. Principal here P is 800 rupees, R the rate of interest percent is 18% and time period that is T is one year. So using the formula for simple interest, which was P into R into T upon 100, we get interest is equal to 800 into 18 into 1 upon 100. Now by cutting out the common factors, we get interest to be rupees 144. Therefore, simple interest paid in this question is rupees 144 let's check out another example Satish borrowed rupees 400 from his friend at the rate 12 percent per n for two and a half years find the interest and amount paid by him now this is a tricky question why because here time is not in whole years not in whole number but in mixed fraction two and a half years now how do we go about two and a half years 
there is a very simple fund about it whatever years are given to you write it in mixed fraction to proper fraction that is principal comes out to be rupees 400 rate of interest is 12 percent time which was two and a half years comes out to be in fraction five upon two years so t comes out to be five by two interest using the formula p into r into t upon 100 we write it like 400 into 12 into 5 upon 2 so the 2 comes in the denominator we calculate it and interest comes out to be rupees 120 therefore interest paid by him will be rupees 120 and the final amount paid by Mr. Satish after two and a half years will be principal plus interest. Now principal was rupees 400, interest rupees 120. So the final amount is rupees 520. I hope you understood simple interest and its applications. For other lessons, you can also check out the links like what is percentage and how to calculate, number system, unitary method, how to draw angles, divisibility test and etc. Thank you.